Hey everyone, Merrix here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Jinder Mahal, the modern day Maharaja. He is a trickster in the game, a modern era. He has the 3 MB link, matching red gems charge moves of that color by one more move point. Raw link, any color move starts with one more move point, and modern era gems do 5% more damage. He has the one set of gear. He is a trainer. He's the trap gem trainer at 5k. Moves that generate trap gems will create three more trap gems. So he's a very good trainer. Um, I'm going to have four builds for you guys today. A three star, a four star, and two five stars. My favorite build is going to be the last one. It's this one right here. Uh, running the finisher at uh, a five star and the five star move, which is the full Nelson slam. It recycles really well and can do some pretty good damage. It's a lot of fun. I like that one. So you want to stick around for that. Um, other than that, I'm going to do these kind of in the usual order, starting with the three-star move set. And at the start, we're going to go against AJ uh, on the road. So let's take a look at the moves we're going to start with. These are available at three-star. We're going to be using the Sands of Time, uh, 8 MP purple move. Deal 23k damage and choose 4 gems to make into red gems. The jumping high knee, 5 MP red move. Make 6 random purple gems into trap gems. Broken by your opponent, deal 12k damage and decrease your opponent's purple MP by 5. If broken by you, deal 10k damage and decrease opponent's blue MP by 4. And then we're going to use the arm trap neck breaker, uh, 8 MP blue move, deal 32k damage and make 6 random gems into purple gems. Uh, so tricolor build, we're going to be using woods to start with four more MP. Big John stud, so we're choosing eight red gems instead of four. Lacey, so purple and green gems do 20% more damage. And zombie Charlotte, whose 9k ability gives 25% chance for purple gems on the initial board. Let's get in here and take a look against AJ. He is fully strapped, so he's reducing gem damage by 50%. And uh, I have two perks of plus two MP. And every time uh, th you get a three match, it charges plus one. So for all of the gender builds, I think I would prefer a uh, Fury set on him. So he's a prime candidate for a double Fury setup. And let's take this red match right out of the gate to get the trap gems filled. Reason why we're going against AJ is because he has purple and blue gems, uh, both of which I we want to... Uh, target with the trap gem to lower his MP. So when you're using the choose move, because you can't naturally recycle the blue very well, um, it's best to try and create some matches with the choose move. I want to leave him this so he takes his own purple, ideally. That would be helpful. Let's see how this works out. There we go. Perfect. And then from there, you're looking to get um, blues or purples to keep the, the chain going. Red matches when they're there for the trap gems. And, and then just trying to keep uh, AJ's MP down. Fortunately uh, for us here, his blue is loaded. But we're going to be able to do what we want to do with these trap gems. Which is take his blue MP. And he's going to fill his purples and then lose it all. Let's take that blue as well. And that's enough right there. 
Perfect. Got a semi recycle on the blue. Trap gems are full again. So you're just basically trying to wear uh, your opponent out on this. And hoping for at least one connection with the purple here. That will definitely work. Let's go with this one. Gonna leave this right corner alone so he hopefully matches those off of the pin. And sure, let's do that. Again, trying to pick up enough blues to recycle or purples. Ah, too bad he didn't take the purple match. So he's going to get some moves here. Nothing too terrible, though. These first two movesets are not going to be quick. Um, they are not the strongest movesets, so... but you can still get the job done with them. Very nice board here. Should be fine, I think. There we go. Very nice cascade. Wow. What a cascade by AJ. But there it is, Jinder with his three-star moveset, taking out a fully strapped AJ. Wasn't fast or easy, but it did get the job done. So the next one we're going to take a look at is going to be available at four-star. It's actually very similar. We're just changing one move. Ooh, look at all that blue TP. Hey, hey. how about that? Uh, we're just changing one move out. And we're going to run the finisher and stop trying to do the tricolor stuff. Very similar idea behind this one. Again, uh, Fury Gems would be the way I would go with this moveset too. 
Uh, we're going to bring that finisher in. Uh, here. Keep the sands of time and stick with the jumping high knee. Okay. So the new move, the finisher, is 12 purple MP. Deal 60k damage and destroy 5 random trap gems and pin the opponent. We're going to keep all the same trainers, so let's get back in there and see if this version works any better. So same sort of principle. Uh, we want to lay the trap gems down and let AJ break the trap gems or us break them, depending on what we uh, what MP we want to lower. However, the finisher will help recycle itself because the five gems it destroys are going to be purple gems, assuming there are five traps on the board. Again, uh, preference would be to pick up red gems so we can get the trap gem going or on the board right away. So we got the trap gems down. Now, if at all possible, looking to recycle the purples. So that'll give us a three there. Get rid of some of his blues. And let's do... Let's leave some of those trap gems out there so he hopefully will break one of them and lose his purple. No such luck. But we got a little bit of recycle going and filled the finisher. Gonna go ahead and take his blue MP right there. And we're going to use the finisher, help refill our purples. And he's got no blue left. It's kind of fun to play this moveset. It isn't fast, but it is a little bit of uh, gem placement and thinking. So it's kind of fun sometimes when you're in the mood for that sort of thing. Okay, not a lot of purple for us to try and pick up. Um, so, let's see if we can get lucky and maybe manufacture a little bit. No such luck. go for so much blue on there for him Ooh, trickster dodge coming in clutch. There we go. Texas purple. Should be back in business now. Hmm. 
And so let's do. Yeah, this could be fun. Mm. Yeah, we'll do this. These are definitely time consuming, but it's the three and the four star moveset. They're the ones I could make work the, the best. It would go faster if AJ wasn't strapped, for sure. There we go. That does that one. Now we can get to the fun stuff. So the first five star moveset we're gonna use is gonna bring in the new five star move, the full Nelson slam, as well as double blue. This one we're going to be laying traps and spamming purples, and the traps should help us recycle. Okay. So the full Nelson slam. And the arm trap neck breaker. In the Karakai Valley Driver. I don't think I said that right, but. So full Nelson Slam, 8 MP purple, deal 6k damage and choose 3 gems to make into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, deal 12k damage and decrease opponent's green gem MP by 3. If broken by you, deal 10k damage and make 3 random gems into blue gems. Arm Trap Neckbreaker, 8 MP blue. Deal 32k damage and make 6 random gems into purple gems. And the Karakai Valley Driver, 9 MP blue, deal 43k damage and make 6 random green gems into purple gems. Uh, we're going to keep Woods as the uh, trainer for one, and then we're going to bring Anderson in for the other. Anderson uh, moves that generate purple gems create one more and moves that generate crap crap but trap gems will create two more so other than that everything else stays the same so let's uh, and we're gonna go against Vader because one he has green MP which is useful for the film full Nelson slam and two it'll give you guys an idea how hard um, Jinder's gonna hit against an equal unstrapped opponent This is uh, where the Fury sets would be really, really good on him. So ideally, we a blue match is great for us, so we'll take a blue match right out the gate. So we're going to lay our trap gems down.
Now I could do the blue move that's ready, but I want to show you what happens when you break five trap gems. It's kind of like zombie taker effect, where you kind of blow the whole board up. So that was 215k right there. So then you're just looking to recycle with these two moves. Turn in all the greens purple first. And then throw in seven randoms out. And this is another great situation here. Because we can throw the trap gems out and flood the board again. All of the moves are refilled. Another 154k. So at 5 star he gets pretty fun. Vader's going to kick out here. But uh, pretty fun at 5 star. Those traps are really fun to play around with. So let's, um, the other way you can do this when they're full is you can kind of gamble a little bit that you're going to hit the trap gems when you spam the purple move here. Did have the row break. We could have set the blues up like that again. But it's going to end up working out fine. So, pretty fun, pretty effective. Um, the next one is just a slight variation of this, which I happen to prefer. It was a little more consistent in playing it, and also um, had some pretty hard hits. I had some pretty big hits on Vader. And these are much, much faster wins than we started with, so... Let's get in here and look at my favorite moveset. Trainers are all going to stay the same. We're swapping out one move. We're bringing in the finisher that destroys the five trap gems. And leaving the trainers exactly the same. I do rather like these last two movesets. It makes gender quite a bit of fun to play. So either uh, blue or purple would be fine on turn one. Uh, purple would probably honestly be ideal because then we could uh, drop the traps and hit the finisher. But I don't have that here, so blue it will be. Let's see if uh, we can get the finisher charged without forcing a pin. No such luck. However, we are going to be able to do this. Okay, I'll take the five match, why not?
two trap gems to break. Let's see where those blue gems end up. A little bit RNG based. Not been the luckiest so far. It works the best when you can hit the trap gem move and the finisher at the same time. There we go. Very nice. And that's why Fury Gems would be really fun on him. That was 250k. Invader can't kick out. Let's do that one one more time. I'd like to get one where I get the, uh, get the purple match on turn one. We'll see if it happens this time. But I definitely like this last move set the most. It's quite a lot of fun. You can see he barely hurt us that last match. Yeah, no purple turn one. Okay, Vader. Cascade King in the house as per usual. see though if we can this time get the finisher loaded and hit both of them at the same time yes but we caused a pin that's okay though game doesn't always cooperate when you want it to So if you noticed when we were breaking the trap gems, the blues that came out could not go in places where you destroyed um, gems. So like you wouldn't want to put one here uh, because then there's no way you could have a blue pop there. Um, or here because then you couldn't have a blue pop there. Same way you can kind of force them around them. Um, so let's try and do that. But also keep in mind we want to get purples to recycle just in case so target the purples and let's see how we do when 15 blues hit the board very very nice cascade 230k there Invader can't kick out. So again, Jinder's really, really fun. Um, I actually like him quite a lot. Surprising. This last moveset is definitely my favorite. It's kind of got that uh, that uh, zombie taker feel to it. A little bit high charge on the moves, but um, you know, turn two, you can get some really big hits with a purple match on turn one. Um, so yeah, Jinder's a lot of fun. Not only is he your uh, trap gem coach, but at five star, he's very, very usable and definitely shoots up the, the tier list. So maybe take advantage of all those ginger shards you got laying around and build them, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and remember to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, and be looking for my next uh, hidden gem video soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there.